Now, five months ago, Joy News told the story of how hundreds of physically challenged persons in remote Kani in the Upper West region engaged in vegetable farming were making a living for themselves despite having various forms of disability. The story revealed how challenges with irrigation and broken fences threatened to erode all the hard work they were putting into making a living. Well, five months on, Joy News' Komladum reports two-thirds of vegetables produced by these visually impaired farmers were lost to the activities of rampaging cattle and poor irrigation systems. <laughs> <laughs> Scenes from our first visit to Kani in December. Over 400 physically challenged inhabitants were tilling the land in preparation for commencement of a cultivation of their vegetables. It was an inspiring story for many as the idea of coming together to engage in dry season vegetable gardening for people who are suffering various forms of disability was lauded. According to them, proceeds these physically challenged individuals made from their vegetable garden were used to cater for their children and other dependents. With very little support from outside, these visually impaired residents defied the odds to be productive. They lamented the activities of rampaging livestock on their farms was bringing their hard work to naught while broken water canals from the only water source about 500 meters away was also affecting irrigation of their crops. Five months since Joy News' visits, the visually impaired farmers are harvesting what is left of the vegetables on the garden. The devastation from the drought and lack of irrigation is evident. A huge proportion of vegetables in the garden are stunted with no fruits while some hectares of the garden yard had been destroyed by roving cattle. It's a sunny afternoon here in Kani, and visually impaired Maria is on her garden, harvesting what is left of her okra vegetables. Despite her inability to see, she's able to carefully locate the ripe okra fruits from their stalk. <laughs> She tells me, like her other colleague, she's lost almost a third of her produce due to unavailability of water to the garden and the rampaging cattle that stray into the fenceless garden. She's unable to quantify what she's been able to grow and harvest. We used to cultivate and harvest large quantities prior to the destruction of the garden by cattle. And then the water challenge. Due to these challenges, we lose almost half of our produce. We need urgent help, otherwise our hard work will be in vain. Maria, however, is not alone. Peter, a father of three, was not spared the destruction. He laments proceeds from the harvest are woefully inadequate to cater for his children's fees, one of whom has to stay home despite passing his exam to pursue tertiary education. We face enormous challenges here. I still have children in school. One of my sons passed out recently from Nandom Senior High School, but is unable to further his education in medicine because I cannot raise enough money from this garden. All the money I invest here is even depleted. I need help. Some residents who are venturing into pig farming have not been spared the brunt of water challenges either. At an event organized by an Accra-based NGO, Macedonia Jerusalem Mission to donate clothing and other items to the hundreds of physically challenged residents and their dependents, Pastor Cyril Africa, who was touched by the efforts of the visually impaired farmers, appealed for support to fence the over 10-acre vegetable garden and also fix the broken water canals to aid proper irrigation. I've never seen people that can't see and still make their own gardening. So uh, I'm appealing to whoever sees this video clip, put your hands deep in your pocket. Please help us. They need a fence to cover up their gardening. 
of about for five hectares. And uh, they also need some NGO, anybody that can help them with we need funds, we want to open up the canals that, oh, oh, that brings the water into their gardens. Chief of Kani, Nachao Samba Bechebi, noted the challenges are threatening to put the residents out of their livelihood and appealed for support. The poverty that we hinted on, it is a uh, 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 fact, uh, causing a lot of uh, hardships. Where we want to go, we can go. What we want to do, we can do. Uh, my youth, my youth, as the young young men behind me here, they don't have employment. Uh, and so you just see them wobbling, they don't know where to go. Even this garden, for instance, is an irrigation dam. But uh, uh, it is not very big enough to uh, uh, let all of them go into the, uh, the, the project farming or any other thing. Uh, secondly, uh, you know, our land, we based on rain. The rainfall and when we don't have the rainfall that is very is very very uh, very hard i always want to see the uh, carne as you just put it if god willing uh, so that we you can do better things for us macedonia jerusalem mission was in the community far off the upper west regional capital to donate clothing farm implement among others to the physically challenged residents as part of its outreach for the first quarter of the year komla adum kani upper west region